Hey, how's it going guys? It's CK here and welcome to a free roam slash customization episode of Need for Speed. I've already put two parts of the Let's Play on the channel. I'll leave the links to both in the description below. Go and check them out. But today we are getting a brand new car. We're still keeping the Civic. I'll go back to it and customize it later on. That'll be more my street kind of grip focused car. But today we are doing a drift car. And as you'll see by the thumbnail of this video... It's the super people. Oh yes, this costs quite a, a low amount of money in the game, about 20 grand. So yeah, you can easily pick up a Supra in this game, which is very, very good indeed. Now, I haven't customised this car before in the game, so the paint is still unavailable for me for some strange reason. We might need to back out a little second and see what is going on with that, but for right now, we're only really focusing on, like, the Jesus. Okay, then. Okay, then. Right. Yeah, I don't really know which one to go for. We'll probably go for this one, considering that is badass. That is absolutely badass. We'll go for the hood. So this is basically a custom car build. The first official one in Need for Speed, guys. So there's going to be many, 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 many more to come. Definitely, my friend. Definitely. So, what else are we going to have? We can adjust the stance. I forgot about that. We can adjust the stance. So, this is when it gets technical, guys. The right tight. We're going to lower this bitch right down. Right tight. I don't really tend to, like, like um, mess with that bit. But the tires, I don't want them popping too far out. So, we'll go for there. Definitely. Because I kind of want them, like, lining up with the arches. You know what I mean? So, we'll go for that. Maybe uh, there. Yeah, we'll go for that one. Camber. Oh, oh man, oh man, oh man. I think we'll go for that amount of camber. Doesn't really look that bad, does it? I don't know. I don't really know because I know a lot of people like different styles of cars and different ways of customizing. So this is just my personal preference, guys. I know if you have like different ones, that's completely fine. Do up the car whichever you, whichever way you want to. But this is mine, so. Yeah, I mean, everyone in the petrol community should definitely respect, like, people's customization style, if you know what I mean. If you want to be a racer, you can be a racer. If you want to be a dragster, you can be a dragster. If you want to be a drifter, you can be a drifter. You get the freaking point, don't you? But I think we'll leave it without a splitter at the moment, because I don't really think it suits it, man. I don't really think it suits it. So we can change tires now. Yes! There we go. I kind of like the stretched out ones like this. Don't know why, but... I do, I like it. Falcon tires or Kumo? I really don't know. Falcon. Nah, 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 nah. We'll go for the Falcon ones in the front. Definitely. I just love the style. Like, you can actually get the ratings on the tires now. So, go for this. Change the rim. What can we get for this one? So, I'm pretty sure I put on. I can't remember what it was. Was it work rims on the Civic? Can't remember, man. I really, really can't remember. So. Just the amount of this that you can get, the, the variety in this game is insane. So hats off to Ghost and EA. That looks sick. We're going to go for this. 900 credits. You're kind of drowning me already with money. Holy shit. Let's see. We'll go for, we'll go for the big sass. Go for the big sass. Now, I'm actually going to keep it red. I do like my supers in red, so... Edit primary colour, this, I have a funny feeling it's going to be the lip of the rim. This is where it's going to get exciting! It's going to get very exciting now, hold on. I think it is, at least. Why is it not doing anything? Why are you not doing anything? I don't know what it's doing. Holy shit, that's kind of weird. Okay, we'll back the fuck out of that thing, I don't know what the hell's wrong with it, but... What is the prime one? Does this do anything? Does it just... Oh, God, it, it changes the whole rim! I don't know, I like it chrome. I do like it chrome. So, do I want to continue? Yes, all change will be lost. I do like it chrome, but that is just my style. And on the back, what will we have? Mm, I mean, seeing the beta, I actually spent two hours customising my RX-7. You could be in here for a full episode. Seriously, that's the thing that I like about it. You could be in here for the full episode. I'm going to change the tyres again. We'll actually flick back the way, can we? No, we can't. Kind of sucks, so stretched again for this. See, we choose Falcon, I'm pretty sure it was, on the front one. So we go for Toyo tires this time. Toyo tires on a Toyota. Yes, I went there. Deal with it. Where's the shades? That's it. <laughs> Change rims. Uh, oh, 
Oh, hello. Oh, oh, oh my god. The four status. Me likey. Me likey very much. I'm gonna go for these. That looks sick. That looks very, very nice indeed. So, I think this is the max size it can go. I don't know if to like, can I tone it down a little bit? Fuck it. Believe it. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> now, you can probably tell I am sweating like a pig because it is very warm in this room right now, even though it is a freaking cold, no, cold October evening. It is absolutely roasting, so. Oh my god, what is it? Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to be messing with the classic stars. We're not going to be messing with the classic stars, man, so. We're going to go for the traditional one, EKD458, man, so. I wonder, I'm, I might be actually creating a crew in this game, guys, so. I don't know how many people can actually join it. Oh, hello. <laughs> Fucking Jesus! Uh, okay! Right! <laughs> For me, I'm kind of like the classic super guy. We're going to keep the normal one. Sound system. Them pumping beats though. But that's $1,299. We ain't sadly going to pick it because we don't have enough dosh yet. Just want to get the fat exhaust pipes on it. Oh my god. That looks so sick. That looks so sick. Should we just change the size? I've got a funny feeling just change the size. It doesn't look right. Really doesn't look right. So rims. Where's the size? Sorry if I'm being so picky and like take my time on this, guys. Because with these cars in this game specifically, I do want to take my time and just make them absolutely perfect to mundo. So I think that's it. We got side skirts. Oh, we do. We do. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I like that one. The June ones. But is that it? I guess that's it. That looks pretty sick. That looks pretty sick. So we can't change the stickers. Hold on a second, guys. We'll try. I'll back out and then come back in and see if we can change it. Now, I know this might look a little bit weird. It is a new day. I'm recording this part of the episode. And I'm wearing a new t-shirt and I've also got a haircut. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll work around that, guys. Now, since it is a new day, the paint and wrap is finally available. So we can go in and actually customize the Supra a little bit more because I only just found this out this morning which is great it is absolutely great that's a sick freaking paint job but I don't want that I just want to actually paint the freaking car man so anyway paint and wrap and edit paint here we go decals and actual paint itself I am so tempted to go for a white I am very very tempted to go for a white so I think saturation we're gonna go all the way down Hell freaking yes, make this thing the best it can be. Now, I love all of these options here, seriously. Like, um, metallic and everything like that. So, oh god. <laughs> I don't want it like that. I don't want it too much like that. That actually looks so nice when it's just like that, I know. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're gonna go for the White Supra. She looks sexy. So what could we get in terms of decals? Now, you can actually fit... Freaking window liveries on it. Freaking laser beams and shit. So, we'll add to the cows. What else can we get here? We've got a panda one. That looks pretty awesome. We've got a panda. We've got a panda. That looks cool. Um, I haven't really seen... Car throttle! Oh my god, yes please! Car throttle! Yes! <laughs> Representing, man. I don't know if you guys watch car throttle, but... One of my favourite car-related YouTube channels. If not my favourite... It is freaking awesome, so we're going to pop that there. Representing that car throttle life, yo, we're going to go for that. That actually looks pretty sick there. And I think what else will we do? Uh, can we add another one? Yes, we can. I am looking for, like, sponsors and stuff. Hmm, what can we get? Raise. I'm looking for, like, Sparkle or some shit. That would be awesome. Or Hoonage. Where is it? Rocket Bunny. Oh, slightly tempting. Tell you what, we'll go for rocket money because I really, 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 really want a rocket money kit on this thing. Now, this is the problem that I had in the beta. I was literally in here for like two hours trying to freaking put stickers and everything on my cars. So, yeah, forgive me if this build goes on for a little bit longer now, guys. But it just looks so sick now that we actually get to customise it. So, what will we put on the rear? I want to put a little panda head on the rear. Yeah, man, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, let's see, we'll put this on here. Just for the fun, just for the lols. Panda, there we go. Look at it. Ha 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 ha. Looks badass. Can we just like, I wonder if we can like rotate it a little bit. Yes, we can. There we go. 
It looks so funny. It looks so funny, man. Let's see. It's the Panda Supra. Kung Fu Supra. Here we go. Can we place it? Yes, we can. It's the, the one complaint I've got about this is you really need to be very, very delicate with the stick. You really do try to actually place stuff. So, another thing we'll do is a sticker on here. If I can get another one. Razor always a good make. I mean, that's just... It's pure underground too, this. Seriously, it's just underground too. Keep drifting fun. Hell yes, please. We're going to go for that. That is... What I like, man, that is what I love to do. Keep drifting fun. Even though I'm more... I do like drifting, right? It's kind of in the name. But uh, I like cruising and drifting equally. You know what I mean? So we're going to go for this. Keep drifting fun. So I think we'll leave it at that, guys. Kind of like a, a proper clean looking build and that. We might tint the windows just a tad. Because I've got a funny feeling it will look a little bit better. So we'll save the changes. Thank you very much. We're going to new save that. Call it Super One or something. I've got no idea. Superman. Visual customization. Tint the windows, yeah. We've got to tint the windows. Ooh, that looks nice. That looks nice, man. Put it around a bit there. God damn. I mean, if I had a Super in real life, I would do it up like this. Probably I would change the back rims, but we can't do that right now because I'm out of cashish. So, anyway, guys, I think that is it. For the build of the Supra, I actually have upgraded the power for it because stop, it produces 222 horsepower. I've got up to 350 horsepower, 180 miles an hour top speed, 4.6 seconds to like 0 to 60. Because I've added basically everything onto it apart from like the forced induction because that costs a hefty 5 G's and I don't have that sort of money yet. So, what I think we're going to do is take the Supra up to the canyons for a bit of sideways action. So guys, we're just at the foothills of the canyon area right now, or the dam area as I like to call it. Oh, and she's getting sideways already. Thanks to like the tuning and everything, you can set it up for like drifting, you can set it up for grip as you all know, but we are super, you kind of want to drift, can't you? So we'll noss it a little bit, see if we can get it sideways a bit more. Still feels like there is a little bit of grip there, but... It's not exactly Forza in terms of drifting where you can get it sideways straight away. I know that sounds pretty, pretty weird coming from a Need for Speed game, thanks to like Criterion and that, but I like the fact that Ghost actually have put the time in to put in like a proper grip physics and then like a proper drip, uh, drift physics, so man, it looks so good. It looks so good. This just reminds me of Jackson Heights. Seriously, just Jackson Heights and Underground 2. That is why I love this game so much. It's nostalgia, but at the same time, it's moving on with modern cow, cow country car culture, that's what I'm trying to say, so, so good, I mean, the way it expresses personality is amazing, it just allows anyone to create their own car, if you know what I mean, like, it allows anyone to stand out from the crowd because there's so many stickers, there's so many, like, body options, there's, like, engine upgrades, it's hard to put into words, seriously, how good it is now. You know what I mean? Because look at this. I've got a car throttle sticker, a panda on the back side, and I'm getting sideways. Oh shit. <laughs> that fucking Scooby was lucky. He was really, really lucky, but I think the one thing, okay, it's getting really twitchy now. I think the one thing that would make this a little bit better is if I actually put like the proper drift tires onto it. I do have drift tires, but not like the maximum ones that you can get yet. I think it's like the medium ones, but. The other thing that a lot of people were complaining about is this camera at the E3 demo. I love it for drifting, seriously. When you're watching it, I don't know what it's like, but when you're actually drifting with it, it helps out so much. It really does. It makes it look a lot more cooler as well, because watch this, right? I'll put it on the back on your standard camera, like any other game, and we shall go drifting a little second. Watch this. I mean, that is okay, right? That is okay, but... Compare that to the actual action camera. It looks a lot more Michael Bates. <laughs> That's why I like it. Handbrake. Yes. <laughs> yes, you really, really need to put a lot of steering input as well into this game. So nice. But anyway, on to the actual Supra. The reason why you guys are watching this. I am in love with it so far. I'm so glad that I actually waited to record the second half till today. 
The main problem was my SD card and my camera actually filled up and I didn't have enough time left in the night to do it, but I'm glad I waited because I didn't want the freaking Supra to be read like many other videos out there. So it is the classic white with my custom liveries. So it'd be kind of cool if you guys actually tweeted this video to Car Throttle just so they can see that I'm representing. That'll be amazing. So if you could do that, it'd be grand. Oh shit. Come on, come on baby, you can do it, you can do it, that's it. I mean, you do need practice in this game to get properly perfection, like, properly perfected the drifting, if you know what I mean, so... I'm nowhere near it yet. I'm nowhere near it. I might need to tweak this thing a little bit more, because it's a little bit... It's a little bit skittish for my liking, if you know what I mean, it's too twitchy for me. I prefer it to be flowing a lot, because look at that, it just kind of moves its hips under, like, coming out of the corner. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho! Oh. Ho! Oh yes, I like that. Come on, noss it, baby. Noss it real good. Do 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 Oh, <laughs> Wait, that feeling when you just nail it is so good. So, oh, hello. We've got a big drifting roundabout statue thingy. Let's do this thing. Keep her going. Keep her going. Keep her going. Don't hit the wall. Fucking Jesus. Ah. God damn! No, not again! That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it! Yes! Yes! Keep it going! Keep it going! Oh, yes! <laughs> this is so fucking cool right now! Yes! Oh, my heart! Thank you, Ghost Games! Thank you so much! This is fucking awesome! It really is, because I wish you could see, like, my overall first like, reactions from the beta, because that was... You guys have been pissing yourself laughing, seriously, you would have been on the deck. <laughs> but, that was a little collectible that you can do around the city, guys. You can do, like, donuts, and go into, like, photo areas, like that wee camera bit there. I'm kinda... I'm kinda sad that there's not a proper photo mode. You can capture, like, screenshots, but... At the same time, it's nothing like Horizon 2 compared to, like, photo mode, but... Yet again, the game looks... Already brilliant enough. So, oh, this looks like a sick ass section. Handbrake. Break a little bit as well. Oh, that helped big time. That helped big time, man. You only need to gain a lot of speed then. Can I tap the brake? Oh, that helps. That helps. I'd probably say that's a tip from me. Use the handbrake, then tap the brake a tiny, tiny bit. Like, on off, literally on off, and it will help you get sideways. God, I really need to take this thing a car wash now. I hate my car's dirty, man. I hate my car's dirty. I think any petrol head's like that. As soon as there's a little bit of dirt on it, it's like, We must travel to a car wash! Get Christina Aguilera out here ASAP! Because she needs to work her thing on my Supra. No, not her arse. Some fucking chamois. No, I don't want her arse to get the fucking car more dirty. No, Christina. Tame yourself. Oh god, that's actually quite a nice little meat section right there. You know what I mean? A little meat location. It's pretty cool, I like it. I mean, only if we could actually fill up gas. That is sick. Thumbnail material right there, I'm not too sure. But we'll head back down to the city, guys. We'll make this a little bit of a longer episode, because I know a lot of people want to see the Supra. But my overall first impressions with this car, you're going to see a lot more of it, definitely, because I actually sold the Civic to get the actual upgrades for this, so the Civic is no more. We might buy another one later on down the line, but I kind of want the best cars in the actual game. The Civic, as good as it is, as much as I love it, I think it was time to go. It served us great for the first two episodes, but the next episode of Let's Play will be going up tomorrow, I think. Yeah, tomorrow or later tonight. Probably later tonight, you fucking bellend. All right, so Amy's just invited us to a drifting event. Hell yeah, so I think that's the perfect time to round off the episode, guys, because we'll be doing that in the next episode of the Let's Play. So, if you have enjoyed this video with the customization and drive of the legendary Toyota Supra, then smash that freaking like button, guys. That would be much appreciated. And also, subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more Need for Speed from me. Another thing I want to say, just quickly before we actually go, guys, is that we're nearly at 3,000 likes on my Facebook page, and we're over, I think, 3,600 followers on Twitter. Thanks very much for that, seriously. That is much appreciated. And if you want to follow me on them, the links are in the description below. So, anyway, enough of me chatting. This is the perfect time to stop. Look at that ass. 
that sexy super S, but I'll see you in the next episode, guys. You've really seen a lot more of this car, as I said, anyway. Peace.